Hello and welcome to Real Deal EV. Today we're going to be going over how to fix your Tesla Model S seat if it will no longer go forward or backwards, or if only one side will go forward and backwards. It can all be fixed with that simple piece of plastic. Let's get into it. So as you can see here, this seat will move forward and backwards, but only on one side. See how it's shifting? That is because the shaft that goes between the motor and the gear housing has come out. So underneath of the seat, you'll often find remnants like this piece of plastic right here that is sitting down underneath of your seat. If you don't clean it regularly, this will be there. And that's a sign that this particular piece has come off. So as you can see right here, this is the shaft. It almost is like a spring and it will come out of that housing and that's what it had done. And so it wasn't seated within that housing. So this is the spring it's squared at both ends and it goes in and it has this plastic shielding that's all broken and deteriorated it just does that over time and what it'll do it'll that plastic keeps it from acting almost as if it's a, a jump rope and so it'll get bound up and it'll just fling itself out of the housing so what i found is a simple fix a cheap simple fix is you take a piece of polyethylene tubing about six inches in length Cut it down just like that. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to bend it so it's actually straight. So we sell these now. I'm only going to list them for like $5. So if you don't want to go buy the whole thing, you can just buy it from our website. I'll have a link in the description. And you're going to slide that over the spring, the shaft. And then you're going to go ahead and get underneath of your seat. And you're going to want to set your tracks so that they're the exact same distance on both sides because you don't want it to constantly be shifted because whatever you put this in at, they're going to both move together at the same, the same speed. So if you put it in just like this, that left side of the seat will constantly be forward where the other side's at. So what I did here is I reached around and I just slid the seat back and I'm just trying to get them so that they're the exact same on the back of these tracks. Oh, good to go. Got the thumbs up. All right. So now I'm showing you the squared end of it. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to slide it into the track on the right side. It's kind of difficult. It was hard to get the camera in there to show you where I'm going. But as you can see here, I was struggling. A few moments later. So I finally get it into the hole, the correct hole. And then you just rotate it until you feel it grab. And you'll know it grabbed when it just stops turning and it feels like it slides in a little bit further. So now you got to focus on the other side. So this just slides right into this motor housing. So what I'll do is I bend it up a little bit and then you'll slide it in. And now you can see it keeps this little natural bend in it. And my hand should go away because I'm going to press the motor so that it actually seats it. So you can't really rotate this side. So I'm going to hold it down and now I push on the motor and it slides forward just a little bit and then it actually slides in and you'll see the bend goes away. And so from this point on, it's in there and it'll hold it from swinging. And now, as you can see, both sides are going. You got a shaft out the left side and you have a shaft out the right side. So now the seat functions as normal and it should last like this for quite some time. So good luck with your repair and thanks for watching.